Utah Jazz head into Denver, where the Denver Nuggets are, of course, going to be favored now by eight. Uh, Jazz coming the other way, plus 280 on the money line. Total sitting at 227 and a half. Now, the the Nuggets are coming off a a back to back here. I can see how someone might talk themselves into the Jazz. Uh, when I was breaking down this game last night, it was six and a half, but I still like this at minus eight. I, I get why you might be a little scared, but the, the Nuggets are champions for a reason. They were actually pretty good on no rest last year, seven and five. And this to me is just a fade of the Utah Jazz. Utah dead last in points per game. I know it's it's early on in the season, but they are just playing no defense. Giving up 124.7 points per game, bottom five ineffective field goal percentage and turnover rate. I, I know they might have the rest advantage here, but I don't think it's going to matter, especially when you're going uh, up to elevation. I think that'll kind of even things out. The Nuggets have clearly come back with a chip on their shoulder. You you, you worry about the the hangover, uh, you know. You worry about Joker going to all these horse races and how much uh, how much vodka or whatever he's been putting down and uh, not playing in the uh, not dribbling a ball in the summer. But it doesn't really seem to matter. The guy's just awesome. So it's chalky as hell. But I'm going to take the Nuggets minus eight tonight. Junior, any thoughts, Jazz Nugs tonight? Yeah, I mean, I like the look. I'm not on it, but uh, I can't bet on the Jazz right now with what I see. When so, um, I didn't know the two stats you mentioned, but you said they're uh, bottom of the league in effective field goal percentage of turnover rate, right? Well, when Jordan Clarkson is your second best player and second yeah. highest usage rate guy, that's exactly what's going to happen, and it's not his fault. That's just not his role. If you put Jordan Clarkson in the proper role, he will play better, and your team will play better. So. They're just not good enough. Uh, Laurie Markkinen is being asked to do too much. He's made a huge leap since his Chicago days, but he ain't that good that he can carry a franchise on his back without a second star. So I just think that this this spot... And by the way, what, what I'm seeing from the Nuggets, two things. One, Michael Porter Jr.'s rebounding is a game changer. If he's going to average 10-plus rebounds a game, this team's defensive rating and just their overall uh, play is going to go to another level. And they look... Again, it's super early, right? But they look like a championship team. They look like a team where all the parts just fit. Jamal Murray knows his role. Michael Porter Jr. knows his role. Uh, the other guys that we were worried about, Brown and all these guys filling in their spots, they look like they're ready to go. This this team, if they, I mean, I was one of the biggest doubters for the people that are saying, oh, this looks like a team that could repeat and look like a dynasty. Small, small sample size. They picked up right where they left off in last year's playoffs. Yeah, no, I was I I was also skeptical. Hey, realize they are a very good team. A lot of basketball uh, left, but they they have not missed a step as so far as how they've looked to start this season. Shark, um, you know, Nuggets, Jazz, big number. Any thoughts here? Maybe side total. If you if you had a if you had a free bet, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm shaking my head. I'm taking a breath because the Jazz confound me. And they got me the other night against the Clippers. And Junior said it, but, you know, you want to talk about continuity and connection. This is the polar opposite. This is a dispersion of chaos. And they're hard to predict, to be perfectly honest, because they just rely so much on their shooting percentage. And on any given night, it's not necessarily either team wants the game more. It's do the shots go down. And last year, Utah did compete against Denver. I was looking at it yesterday, and I was actually very surprised. They did win the most recent matchup, the final game of four last year. They went 3-1 and one ATS. Three of the four games were inside of seven points. Uh, I don't have anything official on this. I have a bit of a feeling this could be a little tighter than we, we were thinking tonight, though. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I'll ride out with the Nuggets here, but you're bringing up some good points about how they played. Uh, last year and played some competitive ball ATS. They certainly know each other. Well, that's something that's scary when you're laying a big number, but uh, I, I still, I, I can't fade the nugs right now. I, I, I want to be on this nuggets team early because I feel like at some point there's going to be an adjustment and maybe miss the window, but yes, for tonight, give me the nuggets minus eight, lock it up.